Hello, everybody. I'm Joe. I'm Joe Yizhu, and uh, I come from China. Today, my sharing topic is fishing and online scammer in the China. I have been working for China Micro since 2005. At the company, I focus on the web thread, and uh, my role is the architect of script analysis engine, which protects products from the export attacked. Since last year, I also began research fishing in China and tried to figure out the difference between Chinese fishing and global fishing. If you are also interested in fishing, so you must know Fish Tank. So Fish Tank just published a report show only 3% fishing site happened in China. So is it true? Okay, let's hold on this question. Let's discuss another question at first. So what are uh, fishing sites need to be uh, successful? I think uh, it is a uh, user base or population. Five years ago, we never heard about uh, any fishing site targeted to Facebook. But uh, today, Facebook is one of the most favorite brands of fishers. At the China, we have the biggest population in China. We are almost 1.3 billion. We have half a billion netizens. Uh, we have a company named as QQ, just in case you are not familiar. So it is a, a company of IM and social networking, which has 600 million users which is almost the same size as the Facebook. For the Taobao, which is similar as the eBay, has 400 users. So, so many users at the China, so do you still believe only 3% fishing site happened in China? So, okay. Actually, uh, we have some data from the China Micro Web Thread Protecting System. We found uh, uh, over 100 fishing sites target QQ per day at uh, our system. On the contrast, uh, PayPal report uh, only less than 100 fishing, than, uh, fishing site target PayPal. So on the contrast, uh, we can conclude the Chinese fishing is more popular than all we can imagine. So in this sharing, I will uh, answer what is the trickiest of Chinese fishing. I think, okay. Let's give you, uh, introduce this hot event. Did you, anybody hear the, uh, there is a massive fishing attack which target the Bank of China in this February. Some customer of Bank of China lost over $150,000 after they logged in the, this fishing site. At the February, 500 fishing sites found uh, which target uh, BOC. How this happened? The criminal group will send the FSM message at first, uh, tell the customer you are need to update the e-token and uh, give some links. If the user open the link, we are like uh, uh, open uh, this snapshot. This snapshot totally copied from the Bank of China, except this. The link behind this image will let the user go to the login page. At the login page, they need to input a username and password and the key from the e-token. What is the e-token? Actually, e-token like this. This is a e-token. It is a device. Bank of China gave this device to his customer, and uh, this key, uh, this e-token will generate a key by random seeds, and uh, it used the RS algorithm, and uh, uh, Bank of China used this key to identify the user physically. However, the algorithm is okay, but uh, the verification procedure has some problem. The queue at the e-token will expire uh, after 30 seconds. 
So the uh, once the hacker get the information from the web page, they will automatically post those information to Real Bank of China and transfer money immediately. So this story also tells us two-step authentication never works. Even we use the mobile phone to replace the e-token and receive some key from the bank, because the bank never know behind the uh, the person behind the screen is. Uh, a official or a real customer or a dog. Okay, uh, ironically, so there is uh, also a target attack event to uh, which target uh, RS company. Some f hacker send the spear phishing email to the RS company and try to steal the design of eToken. I think if they read the news from the China, so they. I think they just host a phishing site because this make money is more easily. Okay. Uh, after having given this introduction, I would like to uh, uh, explain Chinese phishing more system systematically. I place Chinese phishing into three categories. The first is the traditional phishing site, just like a previous. Uh, example, Bank of China, or more popular example, Taobao. I will share Taobao example toward uh, the end of sharing. And uh, another category is a fraudulent site. Most of the fraudulent sites don't have any target brands. They just uh, usually happen to uh, uh, ticket phishing. Which is, uh, which reel the user in and by promising some triple tickets. And uh, the last category is a scam site. There are a lot of scam. For example, notary scam or stalker scam. What is the notary scam? Typical uh, notary scam flow will be like this. Uh, you will receive a message. You are so lucky. You already won a prize. If you follow the link and open the page, so the page will pretend to be an official website and convince you click next, continue browsing. Eventually, at the last page, they will ask you to pay the income tax or notary fee before you receive the price. I think if you paid, but you will never receive the price. Okay, most of notary scam is uh, leverage some famous brands, for example, QQ or some online game or War War or uh, CCTV. CCTV is the most watched national TV station at the China, in the China. Uh, this guy in the picture is a famous TV show host. His game, uh, his show is a quiz game, and uh, people in this show will receive the prize. Uh, by answer some question. So the official leverage his popularity and uh, let the users believe uh, they can get the price from this website. So not a risk is uh, quite simple, but uh, the ROI is quite high. Most not a risk is the message is delivered, phishing message is delivered by the Chinese IM service. For example, QQ or Ali Wang Wang. The later one is the Taobao IM service, which also deliver a lot of traditional phishing sites which target the Taobao. However, QQ and Taobao already do a lot of work to detect those phishing messages. How Chinese hackers handle this problem? Actually, Chinese hackers will compromise some websites and inject iframe using this iframe to simulate a pop-up window from the IM message. So this is uh, quite similar, right? So at the China, the fishing is quite um, get the money easy. And uh, so Chinese hackers prefer deliver the fishing message, not uh, deliver a malicious PE now. OK. Uh, another kind of scam is about uh, stock and uh, securities. Some hack, uh, if you search some uh, security companies at the search engine, you will find a lot of fake securities. They will promise you can get 
100 um, percent profit in one month if you join their members. But uh, the typically is a lie. Okay. Most of scam is uh, easy to identify. If you are the person, you don't uh, you believe there is no free things as a uh, as a free lunch. Okay, but for the fraudulent side, which hard to identify. Both uh, some hack official will buy some keywords. For example, uh, cheap ticket from the Shanghai to Beijing. You may get this phishing site. Both sides share the same template, just the domain name is different. And uh, in the China, uh, for example, uh, during the Chinese New Year, they are almost have 250 million people need to go home. The ticket is quite hard to get. So the ticket fishing is uh, most popular at this time. A lot of ticket fishing sites will uh, appear. OK. Uh, the last section, I will share the Taobao fishing. Uh, Taobao uh, is similar as eBay. There is 60 billion dollars uh, trade happened in the 2010. The Alipay account is similar as the PayPal, which is supposed support most of Chinese banks. Those is the Chinese bank flags logo. Okay, how um, how these fishers get the money from the uh, victims? Let's view our video. Okay. Okay. At the top, if you want to buy something, you may discuss with the vendors. Vendor will give you some detail, for example, color, price, discount, or something, and just like that. So some fake vendor will send the, those fake messages to the uh, uh, victims. This is an older page. If you click the order now, okay. We are go to the charge page. You need to put your password, username and password. Okay, this is a charge page. You will go to the charge page for uh, for the uh, this is for the uh, mobile phone number. Okay, go to the charge page. This is a password for the Alipay. Same as the PayPal. Okay, if you click now, confirm. Your money at the Alipay will lost immediately. But this is not finished yet. The hackers still want to get more money, so they, they will show the fail to pay message. So you may choose some bank at the uh, at the below. Okay, this we choose the ICBC, the biggest bank at the China. This is a charge page of ICPC. Actually, this is a fake uh, ICBC. So it's totally copied from the ICBC. OK, let's see another bank, China Construction Bank. OK, this is a China Construction Bank. OK, continue. A little slow. Okay. This charge page is all totally copied from China Construction Bank. Okay, so this website is quite professional, right? How do you think uh, uh, it is difficult to build this fishing site? My answer is no. So you can buy the source code from the Search results, okay. If you search the phishing source code at the Google, you will find the price is quite low. Less than the price you paid for this event, DEFCON. Okay, only $150. Most of phishing site is copied by template. Actually, I have a copy of Taobao phishing site. Okay. Uh, this fishing site, uh, and, uh, this is a root folder, and a different folder means a different bank. 
for different uh, charge page. This is a uh, China Matrix Bank. Okay, some uh, logo for his critical card. How can I get this source code? Actually, we successfully compromised this website. We get the administrator of password uh, for the manager system. Okay, let's log in. Okay, different menu means different bank. Okay, this is a fake the uh this is a phishing site. Okay, this is a critical number, username and the CC and uh, we will see the CCV number in the in the okay. You can so the back back manager <coughs> sorry. So the management system is uh, also professional, okay. So that is all today about the sharing. So uh, let me give you a summary. So most of the popular type uh, at the China is a scam, scam and a fraudulent sites. And uh, not very scam will target some nameless brand websites. And uh, the phishing URL will be delivered by the IIM, Chinese IIM, Black SEO, and uh, compromise the server. So that's all. Any question? Okay.